is uh, Barry Warwitz. I'm presently with the Canada West Foundation. My title is uh, Max Bell Senior Fellow, and I'm assisting the Canada West Foundation in uh, two things right now, their environmental agenda for the next several years, and also uh, helping on the uh, energy strategy, Canadian energy strategy. And today, Barry, you're participating in a, a thought leader forum that's examining something called oil sands metrics. What is that to you? Oil sands metrics. I mean, to me, um, this is just an absolutely fundamental, important piece that needs to get done in, in the industry. Uh, it's a mechanism where companies can compare themselves against each other, and we've got a system where the public, uh, both here in our own backyard and, and internationally, can compare how we're doing. So it's just a, it's a fundamental piece of a, of a, of, of a, of a system that's required to, to allow ourselves to, uh, you know, with a clear conscience, develop uh, an oil sands resource in a sustainable way. So what kinds of things are we talking about in your mind? What are examples? Well, I think, I think the metrics rest in, in three areas. There's so, social metrics, which are a bit more difficult to get at the details of that. There's environmental metrics and there's, there's financial or economic metrics. And, you know, the oil sands business is a, is a business that does have plus and minus, significant plus and minus impacts on, on the social fabric of, of our nation and also uh, uh, the um, environment. So why is it important to look at oil sands metrics at this time in history? Well, I'd argue it would have been better to look at it 10 years ago than today. I, I would say that the oil industry and probably the government and all of us have dropped the ball on this. On this, And, and what we've got, quite frankly, right now is a lot of rhetoric on both sides of the equation. And uh, we just need factual information coming out that people can can look at and just see what is happening in this industry and just make sure that we're, we're uh, you know, we're, we're going forward with an oil sands industry and we can feel very comfortable that, that we're, you know, that we're being, we're doing this in a sustainable way. How do we ensure it's credible? So how do we make it useful and credible? Well, for me, this usefulness and credibility, the, the foundation of all of these metrics for me is it comes from uh, the people that we're impacting. I mean, we, we're, we are in on traditional lands, on Aboriginal lands, we're in small local communities. So I think the foundation of whatever we do has to make perfect logical sense uh, to those people, those Aboriginal people in those local communities. We will be operating in these areas for many years and we need the social license to operate. So we have to, this journey has to be with those people and we need to make sure that they, you know, they benefit, they prosper, and we protect their interests. What, is, what role do the oil sands have in, uh, in our future in a world where we're trying to reduce the carbon footprint. Yeah. Companies from around the world are coming to Canadians' bounty, and the, that bounty is in oil sands, it's in potash, it's in, your, it's in a whole bunch of products. Uh, we need to make sure that we've got a, you know, a system in place where we're monitoring, we're measuring, we're governing, um, our bounty in a way that, that, that makes you know people in Canada sort of put their hands in their heart and saying, yeah, we've got this, but we've also got a beautiful country that, and we're protecting and we're stewarding our, our environment in, in a good way. So I think that balance is, is out of sync right now. I mean, we, the oil sands uh, you know, came into being because of the price and technology. Uh, the, the government systems, uh, whether it's regulations or, or the things we're talking, metrics we're talking about today, those things haven't caught up to the, you know, the economic interest of, of this, this bounty that we've got. So I think that's what we're, we're dealing with right now, just to make sure that our, we've got a level playing field and we're ensuring uh, the right protection along with this huge bounty that the world wants. So we just gotta, we gotta get those two things in a line a little bit better.